let's go ahead uh, to our eight ca uh, capitalize account for eight cap and remember you're logging in with your mt4 credentials um, and i'm going to go ahead you can see my account is just linked to a demo account here so i'm going to go ahead and log in and um, we're going to go ahead today we're going to create some strategies um, we'll try to create a variety of strategies and then we'll try to better the results that we are that we are getting um, so um, let's wait for this to log in and um, again for any newcomers uh, here today capitalize enables traders with or regardless of their coding knowledge or experience uh, to create and automate trading uh, via freestyle text everyday English um, and if you're new you should definitely get onto an introduction webinar uh, I'm gonna go to the left hand menu bar I'm gonna click on create new strategy and um, here, whether you're back testing or whether you're running live, uh, in this case, you saw I'm connected to a demo account. So if I run live, it's triggering on my demo account. Let's go for our first strategy here. And um, let's just go with um, a little bit of uh, levels and some price action on our first strategy. So let's say, okay, if the Euro dollar, let's say, current day open um, then we can go is above you don't have to use is above you could also use the greater as sign whatever you prefer I'll just go with is above for this one and then we'll change it around is above the euro dollar um, what are we gonna say here, guys let's go with previous day open so we're gonna look and say okay if the current day open is above the euro dollar previous day open and uh, let's say if mm, let's say euro dollar let's say crosses below um, the previous day low then let's sell let's sell 10,000 euro USD remember you can't put lots in here so um, if you want one lot that's a hundred thousand units um, and then you got a mini lot at 10,000 units and it's correct me if I'm mistaken but micro lot at a thousand units um, so let's go ahead and just create a very simple strategy like this let's just see what we get out of it and let's see if we can better those results so all we're looking for is we're looking for the current day to be above the previous day open, and then we're looking for Euro USD to cross below the previous day low, and then we wanna sell um, 10,000. So um, once we've created our entry, we go ahead and we'll click next, and we're on our exit here. And um, yeah. let's go ahead and start with a very simple exit. So let's say close position at trailing stop of one, no. You know, 1% is way too much. Um, what do you guys think? Okay, let's try it like this. Let's try it 0.2%. Let's just see what comes up. So trailing stop is gonna trail from the highest point the trade reaches. Um, and we're just gonna go ahead with um, this uh, exit for this first one. And let's go ahead and click next. And uh, just for anyone new here, uh, that's all there is to creating your strategy on the confirmation page. You can name your strategy. Um, if you don't want to, we'll give it a name and you have your entry conditions, your exit conditions here. And we're gonna go ahead and back test the strategy. So we're gonna test it against um, historical data, ex post. Um, and while this is running, remember when you're back testing strategies, you're trying to you're trying to find the optimal either entry or exit. So whatever, your strategy is you're looking to either tweak one or the other um, mostly you're most probably looking to try and tweak the exit um, however you can be looking to try and tweak the entry and uh, we may try we'll try do this one with just the exit tweaking the exit as we go and then maybe the next one we'll try tweak the entry and see how we get um, okay great so let's have a look here um, important to note is the total PL is gross exclusive of trading fees it's also exclusive of leverage so it doesn't include your um, leverage in it so we can see here that um, a simple strategy where the euro dollar went up or opened above the previous day open 
and then during the current day actually crossed below the previous day low and then we wanted to sell. Um, we closed the position at a trailing stop of 0.2%. You can see here we came out with a total PL of 0.17% exclusive of leverage, um, which is okay. Um, nothing spectacular. And what we want to try to do now is actually get a better result out of this uh, without being too finicky so we don't overfit the strategy. Um, so the easiest way, or this is really easy on Capitalize, and the way we can do this is just by going to the control panel here. And I'm going to go ahead and select clone. And clone is a simple copy and paste. It's not going to do anything to the strategy we just created. I'm going to show you where we can find it. It's simply going to bring the exact same strategy up on the wizard so we don't have to type it out again. Um, worthwhile noting, any word that appears in bold here can be changed with a click of a mouse. Um, so, for example, euro dollar could be changed to another asset and so on. But I'm going to keep it for now. We're trying to get a better result. And I'm going to go ahead here and let's try like this let's go okay close position let's try at um okay let's try at profit oh let me get my syntax right there at profit above zero oh, above uh, 0 0.2 percent um and let's put in a loss or um loss is let's say 0 0.1 percent Let's go ahead with that. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and click next. This is our second exit that we're trying with this strategy. And I'm going to go ahead and backtest. And what's really important, um, guys, you don't have to stay on the backtest page for it to run. You can continue creating your strategy. So I'm not even going to look at what this does. I'm going to go ahead and create another exit. So I'm going to clone the strategy. I'm going to show you where we can view these strategies so you can see which ones um, have performed the best. So again, we cloned it a simple copy and paste. I'm going to go ahead and click next here. Um, and this one, I would like to try an indicator, but let's leave an indicator for the next strategy. And let's go, okay, close position. Let's use, um, instead of percentage, let's look at a, let's look at a profit um, in terms of uh, or a profit and loss in terms of pips. Um, guys, I see questions uh, coming my way. I'm going to get to them. Keep the questions coming. Um, so let's go ahead and say, okay, if profit, and we'll go per unit of euro dollar is, what do you guys think? Let's go with just 30 pips. Um, or if loss per unit is, oh, of euro dollar is, um, hmm, what do we want to go for here? Like 20, no, you know what? In the last one, the loss was a little bit lower. So here, let's just test it if we have the same, the same uh, take profit and the same stop loss. So we're going 30 pips uh, profit, uh, 30 pips um, stop loss. I'm gonna go ahead here. And um, let's go ahead and run this back test. And there we are. Okay. Um, and here I'm just going to go, um, while this is running, um, you don't need to stay on the page as I mentioned. I'm going to go to the left-hand menu bar and click on the My Strategy page. And here, traders, you can find all of your strategies. So whether um, you're looking, um, whether uh, they're live, which is here, or whether they've stopped, or whether you're back testing them, um, this is where you'd find it. Um, let's just get to some questions before we go there. Um, Muhammad is asking, would be great if we could use Fibonacci levels? Okay, Muhammad, there is actually a way. Um, so traders, uh, for anyone who wants to use any, um, any uh, tech indicators that you can't find on, uh, on Capitalize, you can actually create a webhook via TradingView. Um, so, Mohammed, you want to um, just get in touch with us here on the in-app chat at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, um, and you know we'll uh, we'll send you the articles on how to do that. Um, okay, awesome question there. Let's get moving on, guys. Let's have a look at our first strategy. Let's see if we did better. At... Oh wow. Okay, this has actually turned out pretty great. So, um, our first. Um, our first exit here was at a trailing stop of 0 0.2. We got 10, all of them actually got the same amount of hits, except here it gave us 0.17% PL. Um, 
with a profit at 0 0.2 and a loss at half of that, it gave us 0.23%. And wow, this is actually pretty cool. Um, at a profit of 30 pips at, or a loss of 30 pips, it gave us 2.12%. Let's just go and have a look at this um, strategy here. Um, Great. So um, you can see here, this had um, 10 hits in total in the last three months. Remember this back test test for three months previous. Um, we're already looking at longer back tests, but um, this is for the last three months. It ha would have had 10 hits with one losing hit at $31 and nine uh, winning hits each at about $30.77. Um, um, just to go over this back uh, test page really quickly, um, this is our hit chart represents every trade and if you move your mouse pointer over one of them you can see some information like the return the PL. remember it doesn't include your leverage if you guys want some more information on trade 10 hit 10 like you know what was the execution price what was the execution time and so on you could have a look at the notification panel here on the right hand side each trade has two cards one exit at the top which is there this starts from the latest and then the entry will be just below that Below that will be hit nine and so on. So we can see that hit 10 triggered yesterday at 8.59 a.m. Uh, 10,000 units is what we stated. You can see the execution price of 1.1221. You can see it, it exited a couple of hours later at uh, 1.11894. Um, and then uh, what we just went over here is your winning and losing ratios. So um, that was actually pretty awesome for a strategy to go with. Um, we managed to better it and Obviously, the next thing to do is once you find um, a strategy that is working is to test it over multiple assets that you're trading with. Remember, if a strategy is working on just one asset, um, you know, you want to make sure that it's that, you know, generally it's working on a basket of assets. And we'll go over that right now and show you how to uh, do it.